Welcome to I Love Programming Fundamental Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will cover the basis of what is a decimal system as well as binary. We start by pretending that we don't know anything about the decimal system as a whole, but we do know how to count from zero on up. Decimal and binary is just a system, set, group, or collection, whichever words you want to use, that contains symbols representing quantity, meaning we're taking an abstract idea or concept to represent the amount quantity of a real or imaginary object. For example, on the screen, we have this many blue square. So how many blue square we have? Well, we could say we have one blue square. And the reason why we're saying one is that we do know how to count. Now we increase it to this many blue square on the screen. So then how many blue square would we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six blue square. Now let's increase it more. Let's increase it more to this many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Now we have fifteen blue square. Now how then can we represent this many or this amount of blue square in a way that's easy to write, simple to remember, and give us the ability to do mathematical calculation. This tutorial, we will not go into the history of number. Instead, we're going straight to what the symbol represents in a given number system. And the first number system that we will cover would be the decimal system. You could go to any dictionary and look up the word decimal. And the key part of the word decimal is decima, which is Latin, means tenth part or a tenth. So in this decimal system, you have ten symbol that is used to represent a quantity. And now those 10 symbols, those 10 symbols starts with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We have 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 symbols. And you notice the key thing is that each symbol is one entity. You mean 0, is written like this one entity the zero is an entity it's a abstract idea that represents nothing the next symbol one in a decimal system represents of course one object and the next symbol two two in itself is an entity it is an abstract idea that represents two object. In this example, we have two square and so forth until you have nine. And the reason why this is called a decimal system, it is because you have 10 symbol. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Take note, each symbol in a system has to be unique. It is a one-to-one -one relationship. Each symbol has a relationship with one amount of quantity. So zero is nothing. One, two represent two quantity. Three represent three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then what happens if we want to represent ten? How can we do that when we only have nine symbol? This is the part when the decimal system comes into play. ILP binary and decimal concept program could be downloaded at the link provided in this video. This program will help us learn the idea behind a decimal system and a binary system. So what we're gonna do we are grab this input box and put it into this area to create an entity. Click on it and we're gonna press one. Now we're going to create more entities and we're going to fill each spot with a random number. Now what does the sequence or this set of symbol means? By itself, it is meaningless. What is a 5132988 It doesn't mean anything at all. This sequence of number has no meaning by itself. So we need to add another concept to it to give it more value or more meaning to it and that something is called a base. 
Now we're gonna delete those entity and we're just gonna focus with this one right here 10 to the 0. We're not gonna go in depth to figure out what is 10 to the 0 power equals to. We know that any number to the 0 power is 1. So 10 to the 0 power is 1. Also take note that 10 to the 0 power represents a place value as well. What is the place value? And as you can see that we have 10 to 7, 10 to 6, 10 to the 5, 10 to 4, 3, 2, 1, to 10 to the 0. Now a place value means that whatever a symbol is located in this column, that is the value that, that symbol represents. So let me show you the base calculation so you have a better understanding. So 10 to the 0 represents the 1's place. The symbol 5 in the 1's place represents 5 quantity or 5 object. Let's say 10 to the 2 power and we're going to add the symbol 2 to it. 2 to the 10 second power or 100 is equals 200. So 2 within this column or the place value within this place represents this quantity. So that's what it means by place value. You have a place, you have a sequence of number left to right, right to left, and each precision of the number represents a value. And that value represents how much quantities. And in the decimal system, the lowest value starts on the right hand side and increase as you move towards the left. And because this is a base 10, it increased by 10 each time, times 10. So let's say we have the fourth precision, 1, 2, 3, 4, is 10 to the 3. 10 to the 3 is 1,000. So this place right here represents the 1,000th. And when you add the symbol 5 to it, that means this part represents 5,000. In this one place, we have 1, 10 to 0 power is 1 times 0, 0. So we have no object. Now let's say we increase it by 1. So then we now have one entity or one object. Now we increase this by 2. Now we have 2. Now let's increase this to 9. So then you have 9 of this blue square. Now if we were to add another blue square to make 10, how then we would be able to represent that? Because in a decimal system, you have 10 symbol to use for representation. So then what you do is that then you add another place value. 10 to the 1, when you have 9, this becomes 0, and this becomes 1. See, the symbol 1 by itself has no meaning. But when you place it in the 10th place, or the 10th place value, because 10 times to the 1 is 10, that means you have one group of 10. You see, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. But if you were to group it, now you have one group of 10. Now let's say we were to increase this one's place to 9 again, and you have additional 9 square. You have one group of 10, and you have nine individual blue square. And we, if we were to add one more individual square to make 10 here, what happened is that then this will come 0, this group, and then you increment this by 2. Now you have two groups of 10s. One group, two group. So that's what that symbol 2 in the 10th place value represent. So then you have one group of 10s, another group of 10s, so you have two groups of 10, and you have zero individual blue squares. If you were to choose how to represent quantity, which would be a lot easier, take up less space, and easier to remember, would you like to draw 20 objects, like this blue 20 blue box, and make and group it together in 10s to represent 20, the quantity 20? Or would you like to use symbols, as in the symbol 2 when the 10 to the first place or the 10th place value to represent 20. Now let me show you the calculation 20. As you notice of course using symbol is quicker, easier, and faster. Let's start adding randomly select numbers. Now you have 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight precision within a sequence. This three, five, three, zero, nine, eight, two, zero represents sequence. And each se each symbols in the sequence represents a precision. As a whole, what does sequence mean? What does three within the ten to the seventh place or ten millionth place represents, or what does thirty million represents? With the five in the tenth to the sixth place, five to the one million is five million. So what is 30 million and this 5 million and this 300,000 and zero symbol represent nothing. So 10 to the 4th power or 10,000 is nothing. 9,820 zero. What does all mean? So in order to have significant meaning to the sequence of number, what you need to do is that you add it all together. And when we add it all together, this whole sequence means that we have 35,309,820 objects. Remember, decimal system using symbol to represent quantity. So you have something in that amount. Now, how does learning decimal system or understanding the basic to it help you understand binary? It's easy. The concept that surrounds base and the place value and symbols to represent quantities apply the same to a binary system.